are a Houston-based firm focused on serving the middle market, uh, middle market clients that have a significant interest or activities on an international scale. We have 14 directors that really own the practice here in, in Texas. We are associated through network to the 400 plus offices that you mentioned. The majority of our partners are fairly young. I think our, our oldest partner may be in his uh, uh, lower 50s. I think we are a company of young professionals. You know, if you would take the average age at PKF, I think that you would get an, an age that ranges in the young professional category. You know, we really use an inside-out approach with our young professionals. I mean, it starts internally with orientation on, where we talk to them about how they can have a voice and get involved uh, in, internal to the firm and external. I think the culture at PKF Texas is what I would call ideal for young professionals because um, as millennials, it's very important for us um, that we get appreciated for our work and we can speak out and express our opinions and PKF Texas does provide such an environment here. They want to have their ideas heard, they want to have uh, their thoughts considered and, and we provide them with that ability. It's really open, it's very easy to, to carve out your own little niche and to do things that you really enjoy. The culture here is one that is encouraging. It's allowed me as a young professional first coming in at the start of my career, then the first month approaching the Director of Practice Growth, Karen Love, and saying, how can I get involved in the community, within the firm, what's out there that's available to me? And through that process, we've been able to find out what fits my personality type. I myself lead the Leading Edge uh, Magazine Task Force and that oversees the Cubester chat which is where we get our young professionals involved in the non-technical writing right off the bat. So it's, we really try to put into place programs where our young professionals, if they're interested in writing, if they're interested in networking, they can use their skills, they can go out and they're not just, you know, tied to the desk and being, being counters. about two years and I've never heard some of our leaders say, no, you can't be doing that. You can't have any ideas, you just need to get back to your cube and crunch numbers from nine to five. What they say is, you know, whatever you can do to empower yourself in your career, and I think that's a big deal. It's not just what they can do for the firm, it's what you can do for yourself. And by doing something for yourself, you're also doing something for PKF. I think one of the most important skills today is resiliency. And that word means a lot of things to me. Um, it means taking care of yourself, whether that's health, or whether that's managing your drive or setting your own goals. Um, I think resiliency is about proactiveness within the circumstances that you're in. And we're fortunate in Houston to be in these circumstances. So, so that makes it really easy for the young professionals here to be able to pursue their passions. But I think the most important thing is is the nimbleness that you give yourself by, by being resilient every day.